Okay, so our next injury in the chapter series is about tennis elbow. Now, uh, tennis elbow is not something that happens to people who only play tennis, first of all. Tennis elbow is pain that can even happen during a strength training workout. One of the first important factors is to get yourself figured whether you have a tennis elbow. And only an expert or a physiotherapist can tell you if you have a persisting tennis elbow issue. And then very critical to make sure that you do not get into a spot where it might aggravate that further. So let's let's make sure that you do not pick up a, a sport as your active lifestyle, which can further damage or hamper the elbow joint. Uh, it can, however, if you've just been a beginner and you're starting to observe a little bit of pain around the elbow, it would be wise to just do a little bit of icing. You can always wear a, a strap um, that usually helps to just keep that movement in place um, and make sure that you get your form correct. Now, unfortunately, as beginners, we do not give that much importance to the form, especially if you're doing a group class or you're doing strengthening as one of the workouts, but you're not being watched by a trainer. So it's very critical that you get your warm up in place, warm up exercises done and have someone who can guide you or spot you when you're doing your training. And apart from that, whenever you're taking up a sport like a racket sport or playing a racket sport or doing even something cricket as a sport for instance you're getting your constant physiotherapy exercises strength and rehabilitation exercises and make sure that this joint of yours stays in place and intact and not injured uh, do remember if the pain however in spite of icing and after you, you have been into training for longer uh, still persists it would be definitely advisable to see a physiotherapist and get that thing sorted as well from the nutrition point of view, tennis elbow again comes down to the basic nutrition intake, which is your protein intake to make sure that your uh, muscles are in place, your total amino acid profile, so making sure that you have a good biological value food, proteins in the diet, uh, making sure you have a good mix of anti-inflammatory foods, which typically are your uh, omega-3s and uh, getting your uh, D3, your magnesium, your calcium, uh, get a pathological test done and if there is any deficiency of either of this to make sure that you get it supplemented or corrected in the diet from a nutritionist.